beautiful bright souls welcome 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 to ascensions love with alice it's such an honor to be here with you to be bringing you through this guidance for the week ahead um it really is it's, it's always so much fun to do these videos so i'm so grateful for everyone that chooses to watch them and uh glean whatever information that you need for the um for the upcoming week so this is a weekly angelic insight we are working with the archangels we've already called them in um all beings of light of love star beings and ascended masters are here to join us to help us um understand what we are um what we're about to see in the week commencing monday the uh, 7th of june all the way through to sunday the 13th of june now in that space of time we are already in a mercury retrograde right so there are videos already on my channel uh for these current transits we so we've got mercury already in retrograde pluto and saturn are both in retrograde we have a wonderful new moon in gemini solar eclipse happening on the 10th okay so that's going to be incredibly powerful the video is already out for that so do uh check into that but we are here to look at the week, this week specifically. So these seven days, starting with the Monday, going through to the Sunday. Um, so let's have a little look here. We're just going to start with the Archangels and just see what they wish to, um, who wishes to join us um, straight away for this. So let's see who is here, who is joining us um, and what they can tell us about the week ahead. And if you are new to my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. Do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell on the side just so you get updated when ever new content is out because it is intended to help you in your journey in your ascension process and help you understand what energy you may be up against as well so that you can navigate it in the best possible way um and if you're returning to my channel welcome back so on the bottom of the deck we have seraphim seraphisa what an incredible powerful start to this reading so the seraphim are incredibly high uh, collective consciousness they work with the archangels through the archangels um, and they really are that connection with the source so seraphim seraphisa is all about look at that golden energy right golden and purple that sovereignty coming right through this is about um keeping our hearts open so this is a week where we will need to remain open with our hearts okay when we look at the moon phase that will be in as well we're in that um that waning crescent phase we've just gone past the last quarter right so this week we are coming up to that new moon and that new moon is all about new beginnings but because it's a solar eclipse as well it's like we're in this eclipse portal right this eclipse gateway and that's going to be so powerful and it will be influencing this week um, and if you want to hear more about that eclipse portal just check out the other free videos that i have because we do talk about that there um but let's see here so we've got the cherubim coming in looking to the stars except the keys and codes of stellar wisdom now this is this is incredible i think we've got michael under here have we no we've got more seraphim look at this every time uh, i'm pulling a card right now i'm like there is seraphim and cherubim and all these really high frequencies so there's an incredible amount of light coming in right um more so than we've had in any other reading that i've done so far this is a very powerful way to start reading um the cherubim you know they um they came in a lot through the renaissance right which is how they appeared in a lot of the photos a lot of the photos pff, a lot of the artwork <laughs> um and they often kind of come through the music of the spheres that really it's incredibly difficult i find to explain what that sounds like unless you've actually experienced it because it's so high frequency um but you know all this golden energy coming in it's like you know they're reminding us be open open our hearts to the sun to the moon to what is moving through us happening through us because there is so much stellar wisdom coming in and this card here actually pairs very well with the reading that we did for the eclipse so the eclipse is having a massive massive impact on this reading so far we've got lord we were still who is the lord of karma he's a power right which is a 10th dimensional being um now, Lord Weavesil, I absolutely adore him. And once again, his energy is very, like, you can see in this um, in this picture, it's very blue, calming energy. Once again, all those stars coming out from his hands. But these wings that he has, these the most beautiful, warm, yellowish, um, pale yellow colour that you can just literally wrap you in because what this beautiful being is all about is helping you clear your karma, like, literally clearing so much karma, more than you've ever cleared before. And... You know, it's no coincidence that once again, this solar eclipse is happening with all these power cards coming out. It's really quite phenomenal here. Um, but he's very much letting us know, you know, we we have to send healing to ourselves, to other people. Well, as we send, we receive, right? Because we are all one. This is what he reminds us. This is what he teaches us. Um, you know, he's got a lot of ancient Egyptian wisdom here coming in as well. So, you know, you may feel that connection to Lady Isis, to Ra and Horus and uh, Osiris and um, those beings as well. You know, the ancient Egyptian deities, you know, Toth, um, various different beings of light there. Um, 
but you know it's this is very much about remembering that we are all connected you know we are uh, when we give and offer healing out there energetically you know in our thoughts through blessings through how we conduct ourselves you know whatever we put out there comes right back through to us that that's just how it is right you know we've got archangel hope coming in as well and she's a gorgeous archangel she um is the divine counterpart of Archangel Shamuel. And once again, this is all about the heart chakra. This is a theme running through already. Um, but also look at all these butterflies. Once again, very golden energy here. Um, look for a cosmic gift. Remember, you deserve it. You know, she's got all these rainbow colors coming through her as well. And, you know, th once again, it's this gateway, this doorway. And when we hold that light within, you know, even though we're going to go through that eclipse space where um, where the, the moon will um, traverse in front of the sun in alignment with the sun and the earth, you know, um, and we do have that ring of fire, we do have that um, uh, shadow kind of getting cast over the sun um, through that eclipse, what is really important to realize is, you know, that any shadow that appears in life, you know, it does fade, right? It does, it does shift, it does, it does get illuminated because the, the shadow is simply, you know, it's simply a part of, um, it's a part of us that needs more illumination within and that's really what an eclipse is going to bring that's really what this week is going to bring it's going to bring deep illumination especially into our karma and this is so profound because it's going to help uncover and unveil things that we haven't seen before right it's going to allow us to go deeper and than ever before when we go deeper um we're able to really unpick and weave and recreate on golden foundations now what's really wonderful here is that and you know anyone that studies the law of attraction will really understand this as well but you know oftentimes when we do um oftentimes when you can when you go to a healer you know they may want to oh you know if you've ever had counseling or anything like that you know they will want to really dig in and go through the details of things that have happened and you know that's not the most productive way of going about things right because what tends to happen is the law of attraction will will kick start right it'll it's always happening so um, when we focus on something, especially if it's something that hasn't served us, more of that will get drawn in. So what Lord Ruth still here, I feel like you're saying is, especially with Archangel Hope um, coming together here, these two, is that, you know, you will be able to access, you'll be able to access some of that deep stuff without having to go through the nitty gritty of it all, because that's not the purpose. We want to access it to bring it up to the energy field so that we can surround it in love, so that we can heal it, so that we can let it go, right? So that we can let it transform, transcend alchemize he's really going to help do that this week and that eclipse is going to be the, the kickstarter so you may experience um episodes of contrast right but then we call in the fire dragons we're calling those deep blue dragons we're calling archangel michael dragons to help clear that energy right as it comes up and help transform and transmute it call upon the lilac fire of source call upon the rainbow fire the um call upon the violet flame you know really important and then we've got archangel aurora new beginnings wow what a beautiful card to kind of have at the end of this spread here because we've got Archangel Hope. You're going through this gate where you're going through this portal. That is representative of the eclipse. This is the run up to it, you know, all this karma wanting to get cleared. And then after that, we've got Archangel Aurora, new beginnings, let the sun shine in your life. Holy moly, what a week. Okay, we've not even pulled any other cards yet. This is just how it's starting. This is just the angels, archangels, um, and ascended, like, ascended incredibly high frequency beings coming through here. And, um, Wow. wow 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 what a week what a week what a week we have got a massive opportunity and you know what you guys if you really do wish to um seek some clarity about this week ahead you know it may be time that you do invest in an uh, angelic guidance session right where we can channel um some guidance through from your angels to help you with whatever it is that you're traversing you know or if you are wishing to really delve um really clear as much karma as possible then maybe it's time that we book a quantum healing session right for your soul a soul healing a soul realignment session right all those you can see in the description box on my youtube channel um underneath this video but they will be so supportive for everything that is happening here and um, all the energy that is coming through so i'm really keen to see um how this week what let's see what may be challenging us let's see here which cards we use for this i'm gonna get the fairies out actually Okay, so angels, angels, guides, ascended beings. What may be challenging us this week? And we've got so, all this powerful energy. Um, what may trip us up if we're not aware? Let's have a little look. Okay, so we're going to go for happily ever after. Okay, so seeing, 
seeing that end result i seeing that and just trust in the process you know we can get we might be getting stuck in that pro in that trust hey the beauty seeing the beauty things that point of perception right where are we focusing are we focusing on what's gone wrong in the past or are we focusing on um on the beauty of things you know um these are things to really think about and just have in your consciousness you know as you go through this next week here is you know will we get tripped up over whether we can see the beautiful picture that we're creating or are we going to trust that we're just going to go every look every next step every next step how can we how can we be anchored in light in this moment how can we be anchored in that happily ever after and feel that in this moment how can we focus on the beauty rather than um rather than you know not <laughs> um what else do we have we've got be honest with yourself mm -hmm. and this is this is where it can get a little bit tricky right because oftentimes um a lot of one of the things that trips us up as humans is we kind of we have this way of projecting, right? When we are feeling pain inside, the the usual response is to project it onto who we feel may have brought that upon us. But really, it's all within us because that's how mirroring works, right? So, you know, if we do feel something and it's not um, it's not a belief that is going to support us in our ascension process, then we thank it. We thank it for being here. You know, we thank it for being here. And we we notice it and we release it. We say, I release you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to choose to create something new here, right? And a lot of that creation is happening. Um, just being honest with ourselves here, you know, we have to also take um, take acknowledgement, take um, ownership of some of the things that we have created. Because if it's around you, if it's happening to you, we've created that. You've created that, right? And if and when... If and when you go, mm, okay, I acknowledge I created that. How can I heal it? How can I make it better? How can I forgive myself, forgive others? How can I, how can I heal this energy? How can I bring it into alignment? When you start asking those questions, that's when the most profound shifts happen. It really is. It really, really is. And what else might trip us up? Higher consciousness. Mm. That's seeing the light in everyone else, you know? On the bottom of the deck, we've got self-reliance here. So that's really, really powerful because the self-reliance card, um, you know, the self-reliant um, underneath, I just want to show you actually this, uh, is parenting and children, right? So these are ancestral beliefs and this is to do with that self-worth. This is to do with that, um, you know, are we bothering anyone? And, you know, um, is it okay to ask for help? This is kind of an underlying theme here coming in. And this is something that, you know, we may we may struggle with. We may not want to ask for help. We may not want to bother or bug anyone else. But that's not how it works, right? That's a distortion energy. You know, that's something that we that we want to heal. And it often does come from that mother parent, that mother father ch uh, to the child. It's a it's a collective wounding, right, over self worth that we've. Um, all felt, you know, because we are part of humanity. Now that self-reliance is also then, you know, linked in with that is whether or not um, we need someone else to come and save us, right? This is all part of that. It's that self-worth, so we don't want to ask for help. Um, but also at the same time, we then become the victim, right? Because we um, then also will once again project that blame onto someone else and say, well, they have this, this and this. No, we might get tripped up over that this week, but it's all within us. It really is all within us. And when we acknowledge that, when we see that, that's when we start to recognize that. When we start to look to others and see the light within them, right? When we start to see the light within them, then wow. And if we say that is all we're focusing on, that's all I'm choosing to focus on wow will your perception shift will your point of attraction shift you know it's going to be very 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 profound um yeah we might feel that we're not that we're not feeling, uh, being able to connect right you know that there's a lack of connection here that might um that might you know that might be a challenge for us but once again it's getting outside getting into that nature and looking at your point of attraction looking at where you are focusing right because if we're focusing on the light within others and if we're asking those questions like set like we mentioned before how can i heal this how can i take um accountability for my point of attraction how can i heal this and how can i shift this how can i change this how can i move this into alignment M yeah move it into love as the bottom of the deck is already saying here um that's when things shift so okay we know what the energy is coming in we know how we might get tripped up um what i'm just going to use this deck of cards what is what are we asking <laughs> let's just establish that first um what's the best possible outcome for this week for us let's have a look at that what's the best possible Thank you. Yep, don't get burnt on the candle. Thank you so much, the angels. Coming in. Okay. 
Angels. I got fire opal. <laughs> I love fire opal. And we've got kitchen. I love that creation energy. On the bottom of the deck, we have yellow, solar plexus, and under that, blue. And yellow and blue make green, which is the heart. Okay. So yellow is all about that solar plexus, all that personal power, that gut instinct, that standing in our um, sovereignty, right? Our adaptability, our flexibility, how we can move and shift and sway with the energies coming in, but not get bowled over by them. You know, that's really, really powerful. We've got angels coming in here. Um, so for this week, you know, it's a really incredible um, week. Like the highest possible outcome is that connection with the angels, really receiving that support, that guidance, uh, that love from your team of light, you know, having this um, clearing so much that this confidence and sensuality, this, I'm, I'm actually really getting about the confidence, our inner confidence here. This is a very big thing for us to kind of step into is our, is our personal power, right? And, you know, and then creation coming through at the end, you know, the kitchen space is all about um, cultivating, creating, um, planting those seeds and, you know, creating something really new and just like having a bit of fun with it, right? You know, maybe you don't follow a recipe, maybe you just kind of do it your own way. And that's the most incredible thing about this card here, I find, is that, you know, you can give a recipe to everyone else. And we, and we hear this so many times, we see it on social media, the recipe for success. And if, you know, and this is the foolproof way of doing such, such thing, but you know, sometimes we need to do it our own way. And that's what this week is going to really bring us, it's going to bring us that confidence um, to stand within our own power and to trust our gut instinct right to allow this space here the solar plexus energy to shift from the third dimensional fear worry having all these cords attached um into this really bright vibrant standing in our power trusting our gut instinct having that as a, as, a, as, a, as an ascended chakra it wasn't a coincidence that i looked at the card underneath as well which i felt drawn to do in all of these decks today which i don't often do um, but blue coming in as well, you know, this is very much about our communication, verbal and non-verbal, that throat chakra, right? Um, our inner truth um, and aligning with our inner truth. And once again, this is indicative of the eclipse season, right? Um, of the eclipse season and the retrogrades, how they work with us to really enhance um, and allow us to notice what we've been asking um, to change within our lives, right? And what we may have been ignoring a little bit too much, you know? Um so it's an incredible energy like the you know the highest possible timeline for us is this really standing in our power in such a phenomenal way and then once we do that is is literally we are guided by our angels we are tuned into that divine guidance and when, then we are co-creating and then we co-create with source right and when we co-create with source we are taking aligned action right we're taking aligned action and that builds our confidence and then we're building our confidence with that connection with source with our angels with our team of light with the shining ones the ancient ones the fey beings whomever we're working with the star beings you know we start to build our confidence with that and then when we start to build our confidence it just gets more easy like it, it flows more easily right and then we start to create more we create more we create more and then these projects these ideas don't just stay in the mind they actually come down and they anchor in in the root chakra they anchor in, in the sacral and root chakra so we ground them we make them physical what a phenomenal timeline so then all these ideas might be coming through and previously when they may have come through you may have just dismissed them and you may not have taken action but this week the highest possible timeline for us is to really stand in our power really use our inner voice really communicate what it is that our higher self um our soul is meant to be doing in this lifetime and really make tangible actions towards that so i'm gonna pull um one maybe two final cards um, here just for the final bits of guidance for this week ahead for anyone that is watching this video what do we need to know okay co-creation look at that we just said co-creation so we've got co-creation coming in here and we've got the judgment okay and on the bottom of the deck intimacy right and that intimacy you know that can relate to anything you know if you're watching this for a divine beloved or anyone like that then you know that's often how we uh, connect intimacy um but what i'm actually feeling here is that this is very much about how how intimate do we know ourselves how intimate um are we allowing ourselves to connect with ourselves to our own voice to our own truth to our own sensuality our own sexuality our own mind our own thought patterns our body our you know every aspect of us how well are we allowing ourselves to know ourselves and this is a great week for that you know hearing ourselves listening to ourselves because we've got co-creation coming in here this is a week of co-creation 
okay there is so much you know and this is going to help shift so much judgment we may find ourselves in judgment and this is what we want to allow ourselves to release and if we actually look at this card we've got one two three balls of light and this is kind of like you know as above so below we are that bridge in the middle right we are that bridge in the middle we're clearing on behalf of above and below you know we are allowing that light to come down through us and to clear the earth right we're allowing that to happen we must continue to let that happen but this also could represent you know the crown the heart and the root chakra you know or the solar plexus you know um it could represent you know solar plexus throat and crown vortex your vortex your stellar gateway you know it could represent so many um so many things and whatever is coming to you is going to be accurate here but this card is such a phenomenal um card to receive in guidance because it reminds us not to um not to get stuck in the judgment of ourselves and the judgment of other things but actually to bring that to bring everything into alignment and in alignment we have that column of light right we have source running directly through us and it's the most beautiful beautiful thing so gorgeous ladies gentlemen um, beautiful souls that are here precious precious souls that are here watching this what a phenomenal week that we have this is a massive week of us aligning with our higher self we've seen it in so many videos that have been done we've seen it in the eclipse video that i put out yesterday so do make sure that you check that out um and you know if you need the help you ask for the help right this is a time where there are such massive shifts that are able to happen right such massive massive look at that love coming out again massive massive shifts ready to happen ready and waiting right when you take one step forward source takes two back to you right they're always there it's like that picture of michelangelo um it's like that painting of um you know david um where god is reaching down and his finger is open like it's, it's fully stretched and they're not touching because the um the finger of david is it david in there i'm gonna call him david um, the finger of David is kind of, it's bent and he just needs to reach out and that's it. When you do that, connection, right? It's the most profound thing. So beautiful souls, I'm going to bid you all so much love. I'm going to close this reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. It's always such an honor. And if this has resonated with you, please feel very welcome to share and to help other souls um, connect with this message as well. Um, we don't know who may need to hear it, but if we share it, then, you know, beautiful things can happen and that is part of that co-creation so thank you so much send you all so much love have the most beautiful divine week bye for now